Hi guys. Hey. It's Britt and Maggie here. So today we're going to do a tutorial for you about how to get these beach waves. What I do first is I, after I wash my hair, I do a little bit of sea salt spray. And I use this brand and I'll put it in the bio. It's called Mare by Reverie. And, but there's so many good sea salt sprays. This is just the one I use and I just spritz a little bit in my roots and then I rough dry it and I just like shh, rough dry it and then I sleep on it and then I do this deal the next day. You don't have to do that. That's just what I do because I have fine hair and it kind of helps me build the texture and I'm all about the texture. So I do that first, then I section off half the hair and you guys, I'm not like this perfect, like, oh my gosh, I have to make all my lines and partings perfect. I have to do it exactly like this. Like, no, I'm not like that at all. Like, I literally just, I kind of love it to be a little haphazard and crazy. So, I section off half of the head. And I spray my hair with a really, like, soft hairspray. Um, the brand I'm using is Windblown by Redken. I also like the Moroccan oil spray. Um, and I just do a super light misting. Like, no big deal. Like, psh. And I use, I think this is a one and a half inches. I'll make sure to tell you. And I always, like pretty much the only rule I really have with the curling thing is that the pieces around the face, you curl away from the face, okay? Um, if you get a hairstylist that curls your hair forward around the face, just like run, like it's not gonna <laughs> look good. No, it's not. It's literally not gonna have this like beachy, it's gonna close off your face. You're gonna look like, it, old school like you need these pieces to be open no that's true it's the only rule like mm -hmm. who wants their face to be like closed off no open so i take this first piece and i usually take like i don't know what is this like a one inch section or something but the thing is, is i don't like to do the exact same thing every time like i want to like i want it to be really like just like loosey-goosey so i take it and i curl it away from the face like this and Maggie has really long hair, um, so I don't want the curls to be like uber tight. Kind of want it to be super soft and loose. I pull on it right after so that it kind of like isn't that like perfect ringlet. Um, I think another tip that's helpful. So say you have this hair. The tighter you have it like this, the tighter the curl is going to be. The looser you have it. So if I go like this. It's going to be like a longer curl because there's more room between each spiral. So even if you have a bigger or smaller curling iron, if you make the spiral longer, you're, it's going to still be that kind of like loose curl. You know what I mean? Like it's way more about how tightly you wrap it together than it is even about the curling iron. I swear. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, after I do this first piece back, it's okay to do some forward. In fact, I encourage it because then you're going to have not this like perfect hair. So see how that one's forward and I'm still going to pull because nobody wants those. What are those called? Corkscrew oh, curls? Oh yeah. Like passion. That's not this tutorial, okay? We don't want Jessica Simpson waves. We want like super we want waves. waves. Yeah, super waves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and go all around her hair taking kind of, you know, some thicker, some softer sections. Sometimes I'll hold it a little bit longer. Sometimes I will not hold it very long at all because I really want it to just be effortless. I don't want it to have like this per like these perfect exact same curls. And then like sometimes um, I'll even just like start it like a little bit lower like this just so that it's not like um, each curl is coming from the exact same point because then you're just going to have like, you know, super uniform waves. So I'm going to curl all the pieces around her hair just like this, kind of haphazardly back and forth, holding some longer than others, starting, you know, higher and lower on the hair. And then when I'm done with this section, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I went through and curled all this stuff. Now I'm going to pull the rest of her hair down. And I like to have a good center part. I like it to be kind of messy, though, like her natural part. Like, I don't want it to be too perfect. I feel like that looks kind of just, like, cheesy in a way, kind of, like, too uniform. Um, so I like it to just be natural. And I don't think a side part really achieves the same look. Like, see how she looks a little more, like, 
Babelicious or like 80s. Like the center part gives it sort of that like effortless beachy look. Um, and so I let that hair down and I pick up these front pieces. These are the most important, no pressure, most important <laughs> pieces. Um, you want these to be curled, but not too curled. And you kind of, I call it the curtain. You kind of want it to like hit at the cheekbone to like open up the face like that for where it is. So I pick up the hair and I don't start it as high on these. I start it more like around her cheekbone and I try and keep it like very soft and I leave out the end to kind of do more of just like a wave in the front. And then I always pull on it so that it's super soft and I kind of like do that a little bit. Um, and this piece always has to be curled backwards. So on one side, it's really, really easy. And then on the other side, it's really hard. So for example, if when I'm on myself, I have to do this because, and then wrap it around like this, you see? Um, so on Maggie, it's easier because I'm doing it to her. I can just stand in front of her. But when you're doing it on yourself, it does take some practice to get this front piece to go back. And you kind of just want to do it once and leaving out that tip. Once I've done these front, this front piece, I kind of like to start some of these like a little higher because it, like and hold it for a second because it's going to create a little bit of texture right there but I still leave the end out and, or leave the end like pretty soft because you don't want it to be like a wiener roll up curl in the end you still want it to be <laughs> a wiener roll up curl <laughs> but you know what I mean like you don't want it to be like yeah no right it. but uh, <laughs> you don't want it to be super stick straight in the end either like you don't want those like straw hairs where people they like didn't curl like any of the bottom half and it's like <laughs> You want it to have a soft bend at the end. So it's kind of like finding that balance. So after I curl this front piece, I'm gonna go through and kind of do like every other curl, for forwards and backwards, da 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 da. And then I'll come back and show you how I finish it off. Okay, but what happens? Cause um, I used to curl my hair all backwards. So what happens if you just walk right. and so, do it all backwards? Totally, so you can, nothing like, it's not as horrific as curling it all forward, but you get like this like perfect uniform like you know what I'm talking about where it's like one, two, three. Yeah. If you, the more that you kind of switch it up um, and play less by the messier. Rules, yeah, it's gonna be messier. And I think honestly, that's what people like about my hair is that it's not perfect. They like, they like it that it's messy. And they think you just have to not be afraid. You guys, don't be afraid to let it be messy. Like it feels like a little crazy, but it's really fun and I think it's sexy and it's just totally undone. And it's like way less like contrived than when it's perfect. Good qu good question, Maggie Mae. Okay. So you guys, I finished curling her hair, and now I'm gonna tell you the ultimate tip, what we've all been waiting for. So to finish it off, after I've done um, all the curls, I take my flat iron actually, and to build body and like the crown and like this like area in here, I pick up a piece of hair like about like that and I kind of fold it in half and I tap it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a little bit of like a wave, but it also makes like this little shelf for the hair to sit on and it gives you so much body, you guys. It like, is, it's, it's a life changer. Yeah, you don't need to tease your hair, you don't need to do anything. It just creates like so much volume. And then when you put the hair back over it, see how there's like this little shelf here? Um, it like, and then when you do that, it creates this whole little bump. So it's kind of like instead of teasing and then I also like to take the hair on the top layer and I kind of do like this and it does the same kind of idea. You can even like doop 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 like that kind of like make a little wave with it and it creates all of this volume here, all of this texture. You can also do it up here, you've got to be careful you don't want it to be too insane but like get that like movement and so here look. Do you see how much more we have going on here than we do over here, see? So it just, that's how you kind of create that like free people sort of like halo up top. And then it gives you volume without any kind of teasing or anything. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do that to both sides of her hair and we will be right back. Alrighty, so I went through and I boosted her, um, the crown of her hair, and then the last final most important thing is to do the flip. They do it on set, everyone needs a good flip, in fact, I might need one too right now. <laughs> no, mates, flip. Me too. 
Flippy, flippy, flippy. Oh, and get your hairspray in there. Just whatever, you guys, like, mess this up. Like, yes, now flip back. Yes, that's how you catch that. Yeah, oh my god, you guys, look at this. I mean, she would click, she's like, I mean, do you die? So, remember, always flip it and run your fingers through it. Like, when people don't run their fingers through their hair and, they, and I see them in the grocery store, I want to, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mess it up a little bit. And don't be afraid to have a little bit of, like, that. It's sexy, it's beautiful, it's effortless. And that is how you get the Brit Wave. Ta-da! Ta-da!